everybody, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Tuesday, April the 26th, and this is Pallet Auto Load Trailer by Adams Kong, 7.83 megabytes to download, and 12 slots on console, and yes, it is exactly what it sounds like, it is an auto load pallet trailer. Now, um, if it looks familiar to you, well, uh, it should because uh, it's uh, based on the base game um, side curtain trailer of, of Giants, the Crone. So, where do we find this? Well, uh, not, uh, not under trailers, as the mod hub would suggest. That is not where you'll find it. You will find it under miscellaneous. Now, here is the base game profi liner crone trailer side curtain trailer that is not it it is here the crone pallet auto load trailer $29,500 it will hold 40,000 liters of any one of those products you see down there and we will kind of go through them in a moment uh, and as I said 12 slots on console now uh, there are a few options. We have the standard design. We have the Crone design, which looks, which is basically the same uh, option as base game, as well as the Giants Farming Simulator League um, branded one. Uh, if you choose either this one or the Giants one, you can't change any. You can change the wheel color, but you can't change. Let's see, does the design? Oh, the design color will change. The chassis color probably will change. Yeah, but the main color will not change no matter what you do because the design is the main color. Now, let's go back up and go to standard. So now you can see the main color you can change up. Oh, orange is orange, is orange. green. Uh, so that's the main color. The chassis color is, of course, the pink chassis color. And the design color is the ends, which will swing around here. And uh, let's change that up to blue. There we go. So you can see that is the design color. And the rim color, of course, as we did show, it can be white or black whatsoever. And license plates. So those are your options for the trailer. Now, how does it work? Uh, first of all, we can go through the, uh, the signal lights. Um, and uh, brake lights, reverse lights. Yes, all those things. Now, L1, you can turn on or off the auto load, which I like. That is a cool feature. Not all the trailers you can turn off or on. It's just like it's on all the time. So, open the curtain side. It will do that. Now, uh, close the curtain side. We'll have to close it again, and that's the animation for it. It's a little bit slow, but it's not too bad. There it goes, like that. Uh, if you are one, you can... Um, the, the tension belt, so, I mean, you can... We'll, we'll, we'll look at the curtain so that's left front that's where um, I'm, I'm guessing that's where it picks up stuff because if you do left back the curtain still opens the same way but if you go to right front or right back so you left front left back right front right back let's go to right front and open the curtain now the right side will open Let's close that up. Let's just choose right back, but I'm pretty sure the nice animation. I think I'm pretty sure that's so right back open. Oh no, there you go. So it opens that's then it opens like that. There you go. That's how that works. Right. Okay, so now that we know that, let's hop over to our um, demonstration vehicle. Now we got some flour here. This is probably a typical production um, pallet that most people would probably encounter 
first. Either this or the greenhouses with the strawberries and stuff. But I picked flower. Um, these are um, herbicide palettes, but it will not pick up herbs, herbicide. Just so you know. Anyways, let's hop in here and it's uh, turned on already. Turn If you turn it off, which is probably a good thing to have turned off all the time, unless you want to actually pick something up, because this way you can drive past stuff and it's not going to just automatically pick stuff up. That's a nice feature, like I said. Uh, curtain left, front, left, back. Okay, let's open up the curtains here. There we go. Uh, you don't have to have it open to pick up stuff. Um, as a matter of fact, um, we'll close it. There we go. And turn it on. And there it is. Start to pick up stuff. As you can see, you can just turn it off if you want to stop it at a certain point. If you turn it on, you got to move a little bit for it to start picking up stuff again. Uh, so let's stop it. Let's... Uh, open the curtain there it is there's the stuff inside now it'll only pick up one kind at a time so once you got uh more than five percent of the product if you have less than five percent of a product in there it will pick up other products and it'll delete whatever you have in there so just be careful with that now turn it back on now if you have the liftable pallet mod, for some reason, this mod doesn't necessarily work with that. And I'll show you because I do have it on right now, as you can see with these. Um, these uh, these are the liftable pallets uh, from. So if you unload. So I have flour in there right now. To unload R1 and unload, it will stick out. Whoops. Um. <laughs> so if you want to unload, you got to turn off the auto load first. <laughs> there we go. There now. So it spits about, as you can see, obviously. But as you... Oh, okay. So this one does work. Weird. Okay, um, so some of them, yeah, I had a, I had an issue that, um, you can also just put them in manually, like so. Um, so, okay, these are liftable when they spit up. I, I just, uh, it's, well, some of them do and some of them don't. Anyways, there's that. So if you want to just put them in manually and strap them down, uh, you could do that too. And if you do it like this, then you can put anything you want in there and mix them all up. It's the auto load function that um, that only allows one kind. So if we just for giggles turn the auto load on, now it's taking what I have in there and putting it into an auto load mode. Oh, except some of them are not right side up. It won't pick up stuff if it's... There we go. <laughs> uh, that's a funny thing with pallets. If they're sideways, the these auto load things don't... Um... Anyways, unloading. You can either unload manually as I showed or you can just drive over a uh, cell point like this and it will um, automatically unload into the cell point. And if I flip this over there, it will sell that too. Um, yes, so there you have it. And then it'll automatically close the curtain for some reason, I guess because it's on its way. Now, um, a little bit of a uh, kind of a trick <clears throat> you can uh, let's open this um, curtain again so if you drive under I'm going to drive under this and I notice you can start filling so we can put wheat oats seeds eggs wool road salt flour bread cake 
butter, cheese, fabric, clothes, sugar, honey, cereal, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, raisins, grape juice, lettuce, tomatoes, strawberries, chocolate, planks, furniture, silage additive, lime, pig food, mineral feed, solid fertilizer, and back to wheat. If you wish to buy, say, for instance, clothing, sometimes... Um, yeah, it might. F there we go. As as uh, <laughs> it did not charge me for clothing. I have forty thousand liters of clothes. It'll freeze. It didn't. It freeze for a minute, and it's like, oh, did it freeze my game? But it's just filling it up, and so now. So that's a little bit of a. I don't. It's a bit of a quirk for um. These auto load. Um, trailers, uh, for some reason, the clothing doesn't charge you for buying clothing. And um, if you want to make a little bit of money, um, get free clothes. And, uh, well, this trailer is going to... I'm just curious now how much I'm going to make um, for this trailer of clothing. It's going to be ridiculous, I'm sure. Um, the other products it will charge you... Um, we'll test that out in a second. Uh, this is going to take a minute, apparently. It's not the quickest to unload. It's kind of like mm, a, an auger wagon speed for unloading is kind of what I'm thinking it compares to. Um, there's probably a lot of other different things you can do with these... Uh, these wagons too, I, there's, yeah, but anyways, it's, a, it's an auto load pallet, uh, trailer, which is kind of nice, uh, there we go, $837,881, well, that's a payday if you've ever seen one, uh, so, uh, let's do something that's normal, perhaps, uh, wheat, uh, so there, yeah, it would charge you for wheat. Uh, wheat. I'm curious now what wheat would be, uh, oh. We can just have it in a, uh, oh, sorry. Gotta turn off the, uh, turn off the auto load. Um, yes, so wheat's in, uh, oh, and see, see this one, it unloaded, but it's, uh, a ton. It weighs literally 1.1 tons, so I, there's no way I could pick it up. Uh, but it is wheat in a container, a thousand liters of wheat. Uh, so you can see not all of them become liftable. Uh, auto loads turned on. There we go. It's emptying now, and as we turn uh, open, oh, as we open the curtain side, there it is. There's our wheat. It should... Oh, it doesn't tell us by looking at it. So you don't get the field information by looking at it. You have to get in the vehicle, and it'll tell you what you got in there. Right. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I Hopefully I've covered all the different... Uh, options. There's, I'm sure there's other quirks and things uh, with this um, that that may be found out as time goes on and people start using it for other reasons. But that are that is the basics of it. It seems to work well uh, as long as you um, as long as you understand the uh, basic working principles of the trailer. Uh, you'll be fine. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and that is the Pallet Auto Load Trailer by Adams Kong. 7.83 megabytes to download and 12 slots on console. So, till next time.